by Sinclair Heating and Cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, Brad. Did our little buddy pull a Lazarus act? Chris, it was just last week. I thought we did the obituary on it was very sad. Well, it was sad. And for those of you who missed it, NASA had announced that Ingenuity's mission was essentially over. As it turns out, Chris, it wasn't just one rotor that had the end broken sure. up. All four, all four tips oh, are gone, okay. okay? But over the weekend, NASA releases a new picture of Ingenuity, and it's sitting way over there in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. I can blow it up for you, of course, it's going to be very grainy, but this was taken from the Perseverance rover that there is Ingenuity sitting on that sand dune, which may have been what was responsible for breaking the tips sure. of those blades, but that may be its final resting place, okay? But Chris, I want to play a little game with you because you know I'm a huge fan of Cover 2, right? Oh, okay. So I want to play what I heard. Oh, okay. Because okay, sure. there are some other rumblings going on. So this okay. is what I've heard. NASA will slowly rotate the helicopter's blades one more time to adjust their angle and collect some video to learn more because they plan on having more future helicopter sure. missions on Mars. However, as encouraging and as exciting as this sounds, NASA says Ingenuity has flown its last flight. But it makes you wonder. Huh? Makes you wonder. It still has use. Maybe, yes, okay. at least in some respect. Okay. Right. okay, now I have another story for you, and this one is um, this one is troubling. It's about rocks, more specifically sedimentary rocks, like the rocks over here um, that is found not only in the southwestern United sure. States, but across the globe. They're sedimentary rocks. They form in layers. Here's the definition, by the way, of a sedimentary rock. It's rock that is formed from compaction or cementation of any type of sediment or sediments, or it can precipitate out of a solution or consolidate with the remains of plants or animals, and that's okay. why a lot of fossils are found sure. in sedimentary rocks. Okay. okay. So here is today's story. Why did we not see this coming? Plastic pollution is becoming such a big problem that new part plastic rocks are being formed. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, part plastic rocks are being formed. They call it plastostone much like limestone, it's plastic. Sounds like something okay. you get at Home Depot. <laughs> it does. Something do for some new, home remodeling, get some plastic stone. It's yeah. much cheaper than real stone. <laughs> Meets the criteria of sedimentary rock. It's now recognized by the geological community as a new distinctive type. Of When's the last time we had a new rock, by the way? I, it was, it's like, doesn't happen very often. No, I can't back in the Stone Ages. <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> Many different types of plastic rocks complexes have been reported all around the world, believe it or not. And they say this provides compelling evidence of how humans can affect the geological record of the planet. I do have for you a few pictures of these plastic rocks. Now, bear in mind, a lot of this plastic is consumer and plastic sure. waste, but also a lot of it is fishing nets. And usually what happens, Chris, is that either in very hot areas where some of these plastics have a low melting temperature, they melt from the heat of the sun or the surrounding sand or rocks. Okay. But a lot of them happen because of wildfires and or bonfires where the plastics melt and mix with existing sure. stones and sand. That does make sense. But like the rocks themselves, we know that plastic hangs around forever. So they're they're with us. Plastic stone is here to stay. Correct. All right, Brad, thanks so much. <laughs> we'll see you again.